With FanFest finally being over for Final Fantasy XIV, we have a better outlook for the future of the game. And that's what I want to talk about, the future of the overall game, and basically my prediction of it. And the most obvious point to start is going to be 7.0, because that's the obvious one, that's the next expansion, and we have the most information about it. And what I have gathered from all the FanFest um, keynotes is that the three main focus that they're focusing on this expansions are obviously the graphics, the new possible story arc of FF14, and lastly, group content. Let's first talk about the graphical overhaul, which I think is the biggest thing that they're doing for FF14 for this expansion. They're trying to make the game look more modernized than what it is right now, a PlayStation 3 game. <laughs> But do I personally believe they're actually achieving that with this graphical update? And I would personally believe yes, but I am still a little on hold. I want to see it on my own computer setup and not deal with YouTube or a Twitch bitrate quality. I feel like at that point, I could actually judge the game and what is going to look right now. And we will get that once the benchmarks for Don Trell is released. But what we actually have been providing and seen from everything of the keynote i think it's going to look phenomenal it's going to look fresh and honestly i think that's going to be one of the most exciting parts of the new expansion is seeing these new areas and even some old areas with this new lighting grass texture plants your character looking slightly different and i also like how they're giving free fantasia for everyone because of the graphical update and seeing if you like your character if you don't like your character if you want to change your character back to a previous character because you didn't like it before but now you like it before and they're doing that because some people are not going to like their character in the new graphical update because the overall look of the game is being changed a little but again overall i am really excited to see the new graphical update because the game is going to again look fresh and i think that's the most exciting part when something like this is being introduced to the game but now let's move on to the story and honestly i'm going to keep my expectation low when coming to this new story arc and the reason for this is because Ideally, I don't know what the hell this story is going to be. We have a general gist of what it is, like a quote-unquote summer vacation. You're dealing with the throne. You're going to deal with your scions being split up and potentially competing with them. And then eventually, they're going to go to some type of future civilization. And I honestly don't know what to expect. That's honestly probably one reason why I'm keeping my expectation low. Because what the hell is happening? It's all confusing. And since we don't have the previous story are continuing with this one again i don't know what the goddamn to expect with this whole thing so again i'm going to keep my expectation low during this whole thing i am still excited for it it just i think it's smart to have low expectation for the story group content i think is one of the last main focus they're trying to focus on dawn trail and they're not doing this by continuing the usual things like the alliance raids raids um other content like a stream but also continuing on content that we already have before like varying dungeon that was introduced in n walker or bringing back old type of content or something that is similar to avena like cosmo aspiration for gathering and a new aspiration zone for the expansion i'm super excited for this because i think it's something that final fantasy 14 need especially after dontro with the lack of these good type of content we did get some with like the Varian dungeon and also deep dungeon a little, but it wasn't enough. So things like the Cosmic Aspiration and also the new Aspiration Zone, which I'm super excited for. I love Aspiration Zone. It's something that I think the game really need um right now. There's also little things too that are going to be added, which is going to have some type of group type of feel, like the Blue Mage things um continuing, and also the new limited job Beastmaster. So they're going be like group content for like smaller things too which i again is a good thing but that's pretty much what i want to talk about for 7.0 oh, there's a lot more things i haven't mentioned that's going to be introduced in 7.0 and be really good for it and going to help the game grow even more but i feel like those again are the main three that are going to have a major beneficial throughout the whole game but what about 
later in the future past 7.0 how is final fantasy going to be and is it going to be good and this is just going to be all speculation it's really hard to pinpoint something that's going to be in three four to five years especially when it comes to a live service game because anything could happen to make the game literally be goddamn garbage or be phenomenal so instead of really speculating this is going to sound like more things i want to see later in the future and things that i think going to be needed for this game to last for a very long time first of all the first thing that i think should be honestly added and something that i think i've been asked for a very long time is that personable item no matter what it is should be account wide and it's kind of funny to bring this up especially with the recent news with the new zodiac and idolin statue not being account wide for the emote that you get with it too which also costs like 300 plus dollars, which I think is absolutely crazy. But moving on from the statue thing, I think it's stupid that items that you purchase from the game is not account wide at all when it comes to clothes, um, emotes and anything too. I think it's very anti consumer and just ways to suck up money from the customers. So I think it will be very beneficial for all the items or all the things that you have purchased from the mogul station is account wide. I think that's just healthy for the game in general. And I think it's fair for the customers, but some will say that is wishful thinking and they're not entirely wrong at all. Other thing I want to see is a updated UI. The UI for this game is not good a lot of it is jumbled up or separated when they should not be separated like the inventory and the armory are two completely separate things meanwhile you could really ideally put them together and just have different tabs or like if you want to have your equipment it could just be a side by side window it's like two completely separate menu and there's many more things like the report system that i have mentioned a hundred times that i hate where it is and i'm not going to go to anymore because there's a lot of things i do not like about the ui in the game it's just old and bad and there's one more thing i do want to see for the future of final fantasy 14 and i think this one is a very huge pipe dream or something that will take them a bunch of time that it might potential take out content from a expansion and that is going to be taking out a limitation from worlds and data centers and try to make it more unified compared to what it is now the reason why i want this to happen is because right now there's a major problem with ff14 with data center travel and people going to data center and just using that for data centers and using their own party finders and etc and then the other data centers not having as much in their party finder and I think trying to unify that as much as possible and making it where it's cross server, cross world um, consistently and make it actually nice will be huge for the game. And I think it needs to be added to have a more smoother experience, make it where queues are not as long as others or if people are trying to find a party finder in their own data centers they don't have to travel to a other data center but i think something like this is nearly impossible or something that going to take a very long time for them to actually do and achieve but it's something that i do want to see ideally in the game but that's pretty much i want to talk about the future of final fantasy 14 what we're going to see in the next span and things that I want to see for the game overall health. I think it's right now in a relatively good direction what we have seen in Dawn Trail and I hope that later in the future in the future expansions after Dawn Trail it will be as good and continue to be as good. That's pretty much all and I hope all you have a wonderful day. See ya.